There is no bigger stage than that of a Hollywood production. A movie or TV show has the potential to reach millions of people all around the world. It's a stage the Air Force has become quite accustomed to being on. The Air Force has been seen in a variety of movies and TV shows over the years, and much of that has to do with solid relationships between the service and Hollywood producers. Nowhere is that relationship more evident than on the set of Stargate SG-1, where the Air Force and show crew members rely on each other. It's the longest tenured science fiction television show of all time. Stargate SG-1's 10 seasons outlast even the original Star Trek series. The Air Force has played a big role in the show, both on screen and behind the scenes. Stargate's relationship with the Air Force really began in season one uh, during the filming of the pilot when we went through the regular channels to ask for stock footage and, and they said, well, if, if, if any Air Force personnel or, or locations are going to um, appear in the film, we need, to, we need to vet the script, we need to look at it. And we basically at that point asked the question, well, would you mind reading it for authenticity? The Air Force did just that and more sending representatives to the sets like Captain Mary Danner from the Air Force Entertainment Liaison Office, who acts as an on-set technical advisor to the show. I provide inputs for storylines and dialogue, wardrobe assistance, research, assets to Air Force equipment and installations and people. We got a lot of stuff wrong at first, uh, uh, little things that you uh, all know uh, by heart, like taking your hats off uh, as you uh, indoors and saluting indoors and all of those things. Uh, and, and eventually we started learning all of those things. I'm assigning Sam Carter to this mission. By season four, the relationship between the Air Force and Stargate had grown rich. The real Air Force began appearing in the show, at first in the form of aircraft like C-130s and F-15s. The show also cast past Air Force Chief of Staffs, Generals John Jumper and Michael Ryan. Both played themselves. Have you met General Ryan? Hello, Colonel. The General Ryan, Chief of Staff. That's right. The Air Force also invited the show to them. The cast and crew got to meet Thunderbird pilots and watch them perform. A few of the cast members even had the opportunity to fly in the jets. It's, oh, we, it's, it, it's the most amazing experience that, that I've ever had. It's very helpful when you're writing something, when you're writing military fiction, essentially and you get to meet real pilots and real officers and, 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 and sense their, their discipline and their professionalism. And, and they're not the hot dogs that you see on television and the movies, they're, they're, they're focused professionals and, and they, 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 they act and behave uh, you know, in, in ways that you don't always see on television. So I, I think it was good for our actors to be exposed to that. The presence of the Air Force in Stargate has thrust the force into the public's eye and its impact is seen in recruiting. Some Air Force members admit they joined the Air Force because of the actors in the show. I think it's great on the one hand because clearly there's a sense of purpose there that you know is being fulfilled and, and obviously the military can provide that, but it's also just kind of a, wow, be safe. Oh my God, be safe, you know what I mean? But it's, yeah, apparently I've had an impact on recruiting. Who knew? Sir? Cadet Haley reports is ordered. At ease. The relationship between Stargate and the Air Force has lasted for more than 10 years. And as the show's run on TV comes to a close, both the cast and crew know the impact the Air Force has had on the show. The one thing that has enriched the show in, in, that, in those terms uh, the most is our relationship with the, uh, with the Air Force because Honestly, if we were just making it up as we go along, it wouldn't be as authentic as it is and we wouldn't be portraying the military uh, in, in the proper light and I'm glad we are. We've been really, really lucky with this show, with the support that we've gotten. Like, I don't think that can go, uh, that can be underplayed at all. And anything we've needed from the uniforms to the medals to what they mean to how each thing sits to, you know, it's been amazing. We've been really lucky. So thank you to the Air Force. What is it? It's your future. Called a Stargate. And on behalf of the Air Force, thank you, Stargate.